can't see him. Where? Where is he? Nah, you gotta look behind you, bro. Yo! doing with that kid what do you think about trusting your gut trusting your gut when i first had eyes on the player on the players i trained i had a gut feeling about every one of them i knew they dominate the boxing world i had the same feeling about that kid ryu but that kid from earlier he's a whole nother animal a whole nother animal how coach is this some special day today you're all out of your fucking minds i'm already having a crappy day as it is so you'd better what do you mean by that oh god Oh God, oh no, oh no, 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 no. We saw Jay's one, two, and now we see Yu's one, two. Shivers ran down my spine, and he's so unfazed, bro. Oh God, that boy died. You, oh no, why, why? Why would you go in after you're seeing your boy get bodied? Uh, wow, wow, yup, yeah. Huh? From fear? That's right, didn't you feel it? When I first had eyes on him, uh, I'm still trembling. That look, those eyes. He looked bored, waiting for those fists to hit him. What, he looked bored? Is that even possible? Huh, of course it's, it's impossible. So of course I had to test my theory. I threw a punch hard enough to knock the living daylights out of him. And you saw what happened. Do you mean, that's right. It was too easy for him to dodge my punch. You know it's impossible for a normal person to see that coming. That's why boxers train for years to read their opponent's movements, the movements of their shoulders, footwork, rhythm, and habits, anything they can use. But that kid already saw my fist coming and slipped it. He didn't dodge it by some miracle or animal-like or animal -like instinct. He moved with precision and grace, as if he'd already known it was coming. Do you have any idea what that means? I've seen too many geniuses to count in my lifetime, but, I, but, I, but never in my life have I seen a kid like him. Why am I on edge? What the fuck are you looking at with those creepy ass eyes? You're dead meat. Oof! Is he just is he just a fast reactor? Hell no. My face. My face! The fact that he saw my fist and dodged it means time folds at an entirely different speed in his world. Is my eyeball still intact? Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, he's not a genius. He no. He's an entirely different breed. So first Ri was the entirely different breed because he was a genius. But now this man is over here being more than a genius. Okay. He's no human. He's a monster. Yo. Straight out of your nightmares, bro. Why? It all started out with a simple why. Why doesn't he just dodge? Why doesn't he why does he why doesn't he just hit him? He's close enough. Why doesn't he just punch harder? Why? It didn't take long for me to find the answers to my questions. The answer was simple. The other guys weren't weak. I was strong. Ha, ah, ha, ah, this feels good. From that moment on, it was fight after fight. Worship me more, fear me more, more. I revealed in how, I reveled in how they trembled beneath my feet. And before I knew it, my reputation as a fighter had preceded me in fighting circles across the country. Whenever idiots came looking for a fight, thinking they could crush me, my heart would skip a beat. And along with the pleasure I felt whenever I got to smash those idiots in the face came a powerful realization. How my level of skill went far beyond their own. This powerful realization had ever made everything so clear. Yes, I was a chosen one. What was that jab? What was that, a jab? It felt like a part of my face had been torn apart. Is a jab that strong even possible? N no way, but I'm the chosen one. Even that old man acknowledged I was a genius few and far between. Shit, that was embarrassing. It must have... It must have been some unbelievable coincidence or I slipped. How dare you, you little fucker. Yo, that's his favorite word. That's dead his favorite word, fucker. You're dead me. I'll stay light on my feet, moving swiftly into my own rhythm. I'm gonna give it 100%. Now, how should I fuck him up? Should I keep Should I keep him in check with jabs while I take him take my sweet time to knock him down? No, that's not enough to punish. To pu that's not enough punishment for pissing me off. I'll slug him with all I've got and slaughter him. Die. Yo, he's out for blood. Ducking, not bad. Did you think you could dodge my fist with that? Watch this is what you call God-given talent. Oh, I didn't, that punch looks mad weird. Oh, he missed. Oh God, oh no, oh God! Right to the rib, son! He didn't even teach him that! Oh no, 
Oh, no. Oh, he's still going for it? Oh, God. Where, where is he? I can't see him. Where? Where is he? Now nah, you gotta look behind you, bro. Yo. Yo. Ah. My man has a broken hand. Bro Jesus Christ. Huff. Huff. It was only after a few minutes had passed that Ryu understood what had happened. Not a single part of his body had been left unbroken or, or unbruised. He struggled to even wiggle a finger. Not a single part of his body was left unbroken or unbruised. My man said, you want to be out here bullying? Putting you in the fucking hospital, bro. This was a feeling Ryu had never felt before. Oh, I see. A sense of loss, fear, remorse, and help helplessness. For the first time in his life, Ryu had experienced the bitter taste of failure. Is he gonna cry? Oh, oh. at the age of 17. Yeah, yeah, little bitch baby, cry. Wept the bitter, hot tears of defeat, bawling just as a five-year-old would. Look, he's been standing there like that for days now. I thought he'd recruit Ryu right, 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 right off the bat. Should he ask him to coach us while he's here? When else would we get the chance? Yeah, let's go for it. Hello, sir. We we're praying to go pro. Could you give us a few pointers? I'm not interested in small fry. Get lost. Damn, I want him. Oh, that, that sounded wrong. <laughs> it's the first time in my life I wanted someone so badly. Ch oh, bro, change your words. Change your words, please. If he doesn't show up by the, by the end of the month, I'll kidnap him if I have to. What? I don't, I, I don't know if I should say change your words anymore. I think he meant it like, my mans, don't kidnap the boy. What, Ryu's still not here yet? Jeez, and here I thought he was putting some effort in for once. Damn it, Ryu, do you have any idea what time? Oh, so you up, so you up to box then? Sure, I guess. By box, I mean pro boxing, you understand? I just have one condition, is that right? I need money for hospital bills. If you can pay that for me, I can give it to it. I can give it a go. So that's what happened. Well then, was that Ryu guy a formidable opponent? No, not in the least. He said not in the least. How you go, yo? This webtoon just showed us a strong ass opponent, brought the main character into the fold, and said, "This boy thinks the person you just saw is trash." That's the level we're starting at. So you only need money for hospital bills? That's chump change, kid. I could buy you the hospital if you wanted. Lead the way. Take care. What the? They're leaving? Yo! <laughs> Yo! My man said I found my bro. I found my. I found my pupil. I found. I found the boy. I'm going to train for the rest of my life. Goodbye, other people. Goodbye, Jim. I was gonna spend a month at. That's crazy. Imagine you tell somebody. You tell somebody I'm gonna stay at your gym for a whole month, bro. Guaranteed. Th uh, two weeks in. Pieces, nigga. I found my pupil. I'm out. What happened to the month? You promised me a month. What the fuck? <laughs> He's been beaten to a pulp. I knew I wasn't wrong, but this kid thought he was invincible. I don't know if he'll be able to ever recover from this humiliation. Well, it's got nothing to do with me anymore. Damn, it's got nothing to do with me anymore. I don't give a fuck about this kid. I mean, he ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. He ain't wrong. But still, that sounded fucked up. Oh, he's paying for his hospital bills. Ready? Yes. That's nice. I bet he was gonna pay for Ryu's hospital bills as well. Or maybe he did too. I don't know. So this is your place. It really is empty. Do you have any parents? No. Hmm, all right. I'll put together your paperwork and be back in a week. That's right, I haven't even asked his name yet. What's your name, boy? Mommy, what's my name? What? The your parents are blank you and blank you, correct? You, just call me you. Okay, you, starting today is gonna be a new beginning. I'm gonna introduce you to a whole new world. Fate leads each person on a, on a predestined path. Just as some are effortlessly chosen for a path of greatness from the moment they are born, others are just as easily cast aside. In this impetuous, irrational, swirling torrent of life and fate, only the will of the courageous shall remain. And they, only they, shall be the ones to march through life with their heads held high. That's right. So are you ready to go? Sure, I guess. 
Hmm. You could use a little something. Yes, much better. I like that a lot better because I couldn't see his face. Ah, there they are. Welcome back, coach. Thanks, all good. Thanks, all good while I was away. I'll take your luggage for you. No, thank you. But this is the kid. Nice to meet you. My name's Carmen and I'm the manager of the gym. I have a car waiting for us. Follow me. Starting today, you'll be staying at this house. You said you didn't want a big house, so I found a smaller one for you. This is, that's a small house? Okay, I must not know what a small house is. Please don't hesitate to let me know if you need anything. You don't have much to unpack, so let's head to the gym right now. My man is not even waiting. This is our gym, Lions Boxing Gym. Oh, wow. Wow. As you're probably aware, it's not far from where you're staying, so you shouldn't have much trouble finding it. Hey, look. Hmm. As you already know, our gym is a holy grail of gyms among boxers because of its decorated history. We've turned out five world champions who were inducted into the Hall of Fame. As our gym boasts the best management and fitness center in the world, along with a scientific and systematic curriculum, he's still a kid. So that's the new guy. So that's the new guy the coach brought? Oh shit, you see this guy? You see this guy right here? Already can tell he's gonna be important. Look at him, colored eyes, colored hair, important. Most of the people at our gym are competing pro boxers, but very few are trained directly under the coach. You should take pride in the fact that you were handpicked by him and brought, you, and, and brought here. Sure, I guess. Ugh, these geniuses and their attitudes. Meet our top trainer, Arnold, and he's, you'll need time to get settled in, so we'll make this tour brief. They're the world champions I made. I had really enjoyed training every one of those guys. Each one of them could easily go down in boxing history. The guy furthest to the right is a heavyweight world champion, Aaron Ty. He's still in the game. Well, he fights with a different gym right now, but he's, mo but he's my most prized fighter. While we're on the topic, I think it'll be good for you to see what it's like for yourself. Carmen, get us two seats to the heavyweight title match tomorrow. Yes, coach. Use this opportunity to learn that in this world, another monster like you exists. The world champion's fierce blows continue. Can his counters, can his contender hold out? Jesus! The fight's over. Yet again, the champion sent the champion sent his challenger away on a stretcher, showing off his prowess as a fighter. Aaron has successfully defended his belt. Is there anyone who could strip the invincible champion of his belt? What destructive power! He still got it. Listen to those cheers. He's a prediction. Here's a prediction. Soon you will be showered with those cheers. Riches and fame unimaginable will be, you, will be yours for the taking. I will make you the king of this world. And finally, the moment will come when my wish comes true. I can't wait. What? Again, I looked, I looked and saw all the, all the oppression that was taking place under the sun. I saw the tears of the oppressed and, the, and, and they have no comforter. Power was on the side of their oppressors and they have no comforter. Ex Ecclesiastes 4.1. Are, are they dropping Bible verses? Why? And I declare that the dead who had already died are happier than the living who are still alive. But better than both is the one who has never been born, who has not been, who has not seen the evil that is done under the sun. Yeah, they're really quoting the Bible right now. Let's meet again one day when you become stronger, boy. If you win, I train you. Yes, sir. Give me a chance to prove myself. If you win, you'd be lucky to even get one punch in. If you can even so much as graze him, I promise to make you a world champion. Hey, did you hear? Josh is gonna have go is gonna have a go at that new guy. That'll be worth watching. Weren't all the guys brought by Coach Solid Coach Solid Geniuses? I wonder how this new guy will hold up. But Josh has been stepping up his game too. It won't be easy. Are you kidding me, Coach? I won this year's youth event, and even most of the pro boxers in this gym aren't a match for me. How much better do you do I have to be, kid? I've told you time and time again that guys with that guys with your ability are a dime a dozen. Even on my short trip, I already met two kids with way more talent than you. Your limit's obvious. Where's the fun in that? All I need is one punch. You said I only need to graze him, right? I'll fucking crush him and I'll and prove to you that you were wrong. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. So that's how you wrap it. He's an amateur who doesn't even know how to wrap his hands? Hey, hurry up, it's about to start. Josh, show the new guy who's boss. But is it gonna be okay? Look at that kid's body. He looks like he's never been, never even stepped, stepped foot inside a gym. Well, coach did give his okay. Don't underestimate the coach's picks. This reminds me of when coach first brought Aaron. Now that guy was out of this world. Josh, what will you do when you're faced with the unsurmountable force? All right, you're all set. Nervous? Meh, but why is everyone gathered here? Good, then here's your first boxing lesson. First, from now on until the day you quit boxing, don't get hit, ever. Sure, I guess. Good, that's all you need to know for the first round. Hey, ring the bell. All right then, let's see what he's got. Box. Aw, oh, shit. Is he gonna slip? Swish, aw, oh, damn, all oh, the weaves. The bobs and the weaves. 
Josh is closing in from the start. He's fast. His jabs are sharp. Look at him. Man, what a rush. I just want to send him into battle right now. Yo, this guy is evil, son. But he hasn't been able to... Yeah. So it's speed instead of power this time. The kid's effortlessly dodging those relentless punches without even raising his guard. He's hardly moving. Is he seeing Josh's punches in slow-mo or something? My man. Wow, the slow-mo. He's like, yup, nice punches, bro. Unbelievable. No, no, it can't be. No fucking way. Punch him. I can't even graze him. If you can even so much as graze him, I promise to make you a world champion. Damn. So he wasn't saying that to provoke me. He was serious. Oh God, that's the wall. That's the wall he's facing right now. Damn, damn it. Calm down, calm the fuck down. You got this. My moves were too obvious. I'm mixing some feints and up the speed to confuse him. Damn, even with feints, bro. How, how is this possible? Josh, it's almost closing time. Okay, I'm almost done. I was confident that I'd worked harder than anybody. He worked so hard, bro. I'd put in so much effort over all those years. He's been training for years and this kid just started. Oh God, Josh. Oh, Josh, I feel so bad for you. And for what? Yes, it's unfair, isn't it? You're, very, you're a very good boxer, I'll give you that. Footwork, punching power, accuracy, endurance and perceptiveness. You've got an excellent grasp of all these skills. It's the as a result of your knack for boxing and all the exhaustive hours you put in. But that's as far as it goes. No matter how much you want to deny it, you probably realized that your mediocre excellence isn't near enough to overtake an opponent with God-given talent. This sucks, bro. I hate when it's, I hate when they have like stories where it's God-given talent versus hard work and hard work gets demolished. Cause it sucks. Like I don't have God-given talent. So I like, I, I always buy for the under underdog who like, who's trying to train to get better. I, you know, I always feel like you can work hard to get to where you want to be. Like, I feel that you can do that. We hate to see it when hard work is, it doesn't pay off, you know? It sucks. But don't be too disappointed. You also got this far by knocking down so many opponents. The first round's over. Back to your corners. <sighs> Time to end it. All right, let's get right into the second lesson then. Hit a person right on their chin and you'll knock them out. Aw, oh, damn. He's telling them how to kill people. So you only need to do two things well, well in boxing. Dodging and punching. Easy, right? Sure, I guess. Dodge and punch. That's everything there is to boxing. All boxers pour their blood and sweat and tears into achieving this one goal. Training day in and day out. But geniuses are born with a natural ability to create their own style of optimized movements. That's why it's much more effective to give them simple goals to achieve instead of teaching them some random boxing moves. And on top of having this natural ability, this kid's, get, this kid's gifted beyond measure. I've never seen such talent. His existence itself is the very incarnation of all there is to boxing. Damn it! Round two. Fine, I'll admit it. He has amazing reflexes. It's as if I'm up against a ghost. I've never seen such a talent in my life. And his guard is up now. I would be so scared. But there's one thing talent can, can't do for him. And that's giving him endurance. Endurance only comes with effort. I could tell he was pretty exhausted at the end of the first round. I wasted some energy after getting too ag agitated during the first round. But in the second round, I'll go slow and watch my energy levels while putting pressure on him nonstop. We'll see if he can keep escaping my punches after getting worn out. Let's test him out. Box. Oof. Already. Already with the smoke. Oh, God. Oh, sleepy sleep. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Put that boy to sleep with one punch to the chin. That's just, ah, oh God. We hate to see it. Josh, Josh. Good, you've come around again. Nice try. Oh, I see. He really is on a different level. Damn, son. Damn. Your limit's obvious. Where's the fun in that? Another round? Asshole. Any more beyond this will, be, will only be more humiliating. I get how gifted you are now, so fuck off. Suit yourself. Let me ask you something. Coach said he met another guy who was stronger than me when he visited your country. Do you know who he is? I do. Is he really stronger than me? Probably. Oh, wow! I, I, I like, I like, I like you. I like you. I like you. That, that's dope. This is the person that he saw. This is the strong person he saw. I fucks, I, I fucks with Jay too. I really hope Jay comes back into the picture and actually starts boxing. 